Got a GE dishwasher and the complaint is the dishwasher will not drain and has an awful smell. And it is full of water. Get the cover off here and see what's going on. And it looks like we got a bad dishwasher drain solenoid. You can see all the black on the uh, this little thing right here. Yep, it's frozen. I can't push it down. So, so we'll be replacing the drain solenoid. All right, so we'll unplug the dishwasher. All right, we got the power off. So now we'll unplug the harness. And then there's two Phillips screws One right there. And then there's another one up top. Right up here. And then this little clip Right here, I want to pop that off. Pull it out. And we got a new one right here in the bag. Get our new one out of the bag. And I have a bunch of parts in here that I saved from a few dishwashers we salvaged. So I'll grab a new plunger out of there. See, that's what this does whenever it goes to drain. This will drop down and send the power through to drain it. But this one here, you can see how it's all black on the plunger. And it smells burnt. It's all... So that is no good. And inside the solenoid there is all black too. There's a look at the new one. See all the black stuff in there. So that solenoid's no good. Look 
go ahead and mount the new solenoid. There's two little uh, little pins, one right up here, one right below it there that sits on there. So after you have it mounted, you want to get your little, put a new plastic piece on this one here. Got melted at the top. So we got another one here ready to go. Just get your spring, hook it in the back here. plastic piece on and pull your spring down hook it in the bottom here and get your plunger it in the back like that that way now it will go down and you don't want to forget your little clip this little guy right here clips right onto here and this little guy can be a pain Usually get my needle nose oops, and squeeze it on there. Just like that. So, to recap, mounted the solenoid, which is the screw right up here, the other screw back here, hook the spring on right there, to the bottom right there, and then we put the slid the plastic piece on, put the plunger in there, and then lock the clip on, and you're ready to go, just gotta plug it back in. Now we'll make sure it drains. And we'll get to see the plunger drop down in there whenever it goes in the drain cycle.
goes. Those will need a rim. Started backing up. Alright, that's replacing the GE dishwasher solenoid. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.